Oh hey there, did you know that you can actually use your Kinect Cam in Windows 10 as a webcam? Come on, let me show you how to do it. Let's go! Hello and welcome back everybody. And I've got some terrific news for you. I finally figured out a way to turn the old Kinect Cam into a webcam once more in Windows 10. And so without further ado, I'm going to tell you how to do it. Firstly, uh, uh, the older method I used for turning the Kinect Cam into webcam in Windows 7 stopped working for me when I upgraded to Windows 10. And I was really annoyed and it took me a long time to figure this out. Uh, now surprisingly, it's actually an older technique that is working for me. So I've prepared the files for you easily to uh, download from my website and I'm going to show you the easiest possible way to set it up. Okay? Alright, so number one, step one. Navigate to my web page uh, listed below and I'm hosting the files for you so they don't get lost. So, and feel free to read up my little speech on why it's important not to throw away good products like the Kinect Cam just because the manufacturer stops updating its drivers. In short, there are mountains of plastic filling up third world countries and the oceans just because of our short-sighted profit-making strategies. Uh, on my webpage there I've listed an awesome must-see documentary called uh, Planned Obsolescence. Please check it out, it's gonna blow your mind. Anyways, so step two, now you're at this web page. Feel free to download the file entitled connectcam.ax. Now once you've copied it or downloaded it to your computer, you want to copy and paste it onto your C drive. And take a look at this picture. This is the location the file must be located for the rest of the following steps to work. Okay? It's just it'll be easier for you if you copy it to this exact location c colon slash uh, connectcam.ax is where it's going to be okay anyways um, step two or next step step three actually download the connect sdk version 1 beta 2 64-bit file to your computer install it and install it I'm assuming you've got a Windows 10 64-bit version. Mind you, if you've got 32-bit version, then you're going to want to uh, hit the link I've got listed below and download the 32-bit version, which is denoted by a, um, 86X. Uh, you'll see there if you go to that link. Okay, so now you've got the Connect Cam .ax file on your C drive and you've installed the Connect SDK version 1 beta to 64-bit on your computer. Now step 4, you're going to go to the command search window box in the bottom left of your screen and you're going to type the word CMD and you're going to see the command program pro, um, appear up in, your, uh, in that uh, little column, search column I guess. Now you're going to want to go over to that with your mouse and right click and choose run as administrator. That's vitally important. Okay, and then your little command program is going to pop up on your screen. So now go to that little program and type in the words as follows. Uh, well, you can see it right there. Reg SVR32 space c colon slash connect cam dot ax and do it exactly as you see there on the screen please or uh, try to copy and paste it uh, from the link I've given you below okay anyways um, hit enter and if you've done it properly you should hear or get a message prompt saying you've successfully registered uh, that program and next thing you're going to want to do is turn on your Skype and check uh, you know the tools and setup and see if your uh, Connect Cam is showing up in the video section there. It's possible you might have to restart your computer but uh, I think it worked for me automatically as soon as I uh, followed those steps. Anyways, 
let me know if it works and uh, I can try to help you out uh, as briefly as I can. I'm an extremely busy person actually, but uh, I can try to offer some suggestions, but I think I've laid it out for you in pretty simple, easy to follow uh, methods here. So good luck and I wish you all success. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.